The massive influx of refugees to Europe has plunged the continent into an unprecedented migration crisis. While pressure is escalating at the EU's external borders, where thousands of immigrants are still waiting to enter the EU, the 28 European Home Affairs Ministers participating in an emergency meeting didn't manage to reach agreement on their exact distribution. Monica Holmeyer, a member of the European Parliament's Committee for Civil Liberties, Justice and Home Affairs, says that EU member states must assume their responsibilities. The, the Council and the Minister of Interior failed uh, in their decision because they have uh, repeated everything they have done in the last month. They agreed now on the 40,000, but on the very important decision that we need a permanent relocation mechanism and on the, on the 120,000, they didn't do anything. Um, they decided that they will discuss it on the 8th of October. In the next three weeks, we will have the next 300,000 people coming to European Union, so um, they are delayed. The lack of a decision on a concrete quota system to spread refugees throughout the EU shows that Europe is divided. While some Eastern European countries like Hungary, Poland, the Czech Republic and Slovakia are against compulsory quotas for refugees, France and Germany are calling for stronger European solidarity. I would have the proposal that the cohesion punch, uh, fund could be used for refugees too, so there we have to change the legal basis so that um, member states like Poland or uh, member states who have financial problems get European aid to help refugees, so perhaps this could uh, help to be a solution. This year has seen the largest flows of migrants in Europe since World War II. More than 800,000 are expected this year from conflict zones including Syria, Iraq and Afghanistan. Migration is a shared challenge and MEPs from the EPP group are calling for the international community to take action to promote peace and a long-term resolution to the conflicts in Syria and Libya. The main EPP proposal is first to increase development aid and humanitarian aid at once to solve the immediate problems in the, in the, uh, in the camps outside of the European Union where the, uh, the, the people are starting, then to do a lot against the root, uh, the root causes, the, the migration causes, then to uh, change external policy to have a common external policy, very strictly working together on these issues of the African continent, then to really secure external borders, not to be against refugees, but uh, not to know who is coming and who is leaving. This is not a situation that we can accept. This uh, would mean a danger to Schengen and at the end a solidarity in between the European member states.